So, Robin, our next guest is apparently dying of an incurable rare disease. <laughs> um, her dying <laughs> wish is to be by our very own Sal and Richard. Oh, God. That was our dying wish? What was our living wish? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Blow Ronnie the limo driver? <laughs> Anyways, Robin, as you know, I am a uh, very compassionate man. Uh, humanitarian of heroic proportions. Always trying to make this world a better place. Yes, Howard. You're like the Bono of... That's good, Robin. I, I like that. Anyway, uh, apparently, apparently, she has something called um, Bogner's dis Dysplasia. I don't, this, Gary, that doesn't sound real. Is that... Someone Google that for me. That doesn't sound like a real disease. Um... Okay, let's bring her out. Her name is Amy. Let's bring in Amy. <laughs> hey, it's a shame you'll be a corpse soon, honey. You are hot. Howard, don't say that. Hey, wait, she knows what she's getting into, all right? I'm like the Make-A-Wish Foundation over here. But you don't have to remind her of her illness. <laughs> all right, honey, I, you, you know, you don't look sick to me. Um, what, now, tell us about this disease you have, because no one here has heard of it, so... Well, it really is a disease. You know, like, my body's electrical system could spontaneously shut down at any given moment. I won't be able to breathe and I'll die. Okay, now how do you know you have this, you know, outside of spontaneously dying? Well, I kept on getting all these headaches. And so I finally went to the doctor and he basically told me that any day could be the last day of my life. And you want to spend that day with Sal and Richard? <laughs> really? Honey, honey, what's up with that? I mean, come on, go to Disneyland, you know, jump out of a plane. <laughs> Sal and Richard? Well, I've had this soft spot for Sal ever since he found out about his wife's emotional friend. And, um, Richard, he's so freaking hot after he lost all that weight. When he was dancing around naked for George Shakai, I was... Oh my. And the thought of them with all our gay shit oh going my. on makes me want to come instantly. Okay. All right, wow. you made a compelling argument. Um... I'm still not completely convinced it's not some sort of mental illness that's your disease. No, I'm completely saying I assure you. Okay, let's, let's bring in Sal and Richard, okay? Get, get Sal and Richard in here. Uh, 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 Do we really want to hear Sal and Richard have... S as long as she's in the middle, right? Howard. Robin, I don't know about... Your skin is so smooth and supple. Perfect. Oh, yeah. that Benji <laughs> has been begging for us to bring on the show. Since when do we take Benji's advice on anything? Yeah, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, anyway, her name is Cagney Lynn Carter. Uh, she's an accomplished dancer. And she, well, she's a, uh, so let's, let's bring her out here, okay? Look at this broad. Right moment for what? Uh, sex with sex with black men. Was it uh, when Mr. X came along? I've had sex with black men before Mr. X, Howard. Uh, I see. Uh, willingly. <laughs> I love you. Just joking, Robin. Anyway, uh, so. Oh my. Well, I hope she's all right. Yeah, well, Benji's missing as well, so I'm assuming she's in terrible danger. Uh, wow. Anyway, let's bring in Lisa G with the Howard 100 News Department. <laughs> also, Baba Booey. How do you not realize that you're a lesbian? All right, one could also ask, how does one not realize they enjoy pleasuring themselves with vegetables? You know, it just sort of sneaks up on you. <laughs> Tell me, Robin, when did you realize you enjoy putting vegetables in? Please, Howard, that's just a youthful curiosity. Yeah, what do you think this is? <laughs> let's just, you know, let's just hope they're willing to share that youthful curiosity with us here today. And Boston University will be proud, Howard. Hey, you know what? Screw Boston <laughs> University. I've got lesbians in front of me here, okay? All right, Fred, uh, let's get some lesbian romantic music playing. Wow. No. Okay, we'll say no more. Like, like ever? My God, no. That has never happened. That would be kind of weird. Plus, Howard has a beautiful wife. 
Yeah, I know. I, I use a bath at least twice a week. Hey, it's an excellent question, though, you know? Um, but the answer is no. Uh, Robin and I have never been intimate. Although, undoubtedly, I'm sure secretly she's wanted to, to be with me this whole time. Um, but, but no, we've stayed away from that. Okay, but you both must have wondered what it would be like. Robin, have you ever wondered what it would be like to make sweet love to me? Come on, don't lie. I know you have. <sighs> Please, Howard. How would such a thing even take place? Easily, Robin. All right, let's, let's paint a picture, all right? Okay. So, we've both just arrived from accepting an award acknowledging our greatness. And, you know, we're both a little tipsy. Okay. Oh, oh, Howard. I'm sure it would be Howard, but somehow I think Beth would have a problem with that. Hey, that's not true, Robin. She knows you're my first and true love. Oh, I love you too, Howard, but let's not go there again. Why not? It was awesome. Did you see how big my was in that fantasy? Oh, Howard. Fine, but you know what? I know you loved it, all right? Okay, thank you again, everybody, and we will see you tomorrow.